Hello, today I'm speaking to Ali, who is the singer in Slow Ride, and we also have Phil, who plays guitar and synths, and Thomas, who plays drums. How are you today, Ali? I'm absolutely brilliant. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. So you've just released your second single today, Forever In My Head. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's slightly different to the first one. The first one was quite a random, quirky tune, and this one's kind of maybe our kind of vibe. It's a bit more indie, um, a little bit emo as well. Um, the cool emo. Um, you know, <laughs> not, all the, not all the haircuts necessarily. Um, yeah, and it's just kind of a good sort of positive, uplifting track and it's kind of been fun to put out so yeah all good and how has release day been yeah it's been cool we just kind of put it out and because we're not gigging and stuff it's you know you're kind of limited with what you can do so we've just kind of done a lot of the kind of social media stuff and then i've just been texting everybody i know being that guy and you know phil's been doing all the blog stuff and tom's been helping me with all the um uh, all the design stuff so we've just kind of come together with all our specialities and just gone full force. <laughs> Your debut single I Feel Like You was very catchy and I remember commenting that the bass at the beginning reminded me of Portugal the Man and I read a review on It's All Indie describing it as delightfully squelchy which I liked as well. <laughs> what music would you say influences you the most when you're writing? Um, well, I can't answer for Phil. Phil's the guy that kind of does the music and I, he kind of presents it to me and then I kind of layer my vocals on. So that's all on him. But his taste is, I mean, he's influenced by everything uh, like we are as well, but everything from hip hop, indie, R&B, soul, uh, rock, everything so i think in his head he just kind of finds a vibe and just pulls in his influences and channels it into slow ride whatever this thing is so a whole nice. yeah and it's nice to be able to take influences from like lots of different places because then it's just gonna be unique isn't it <laughs> yeah yeah your spotify bio says that you and phil were drawn together by your love of 90s indie and punk who are your favorite bands or artists um, well, Weezer is one that we share in common. It's like, Weezer seems to be two kind of bands, like the old Weezer and then new Weezer. So <laughs> I'm old school Weezer and he's kind of likes the whole spectrum of it. Um, and then all those bands that come off that, like AWOL Nation and um, Group Love and all these other bands, you know, any, any band that's doing something that's not just straight up guitar music, just something interesting and um, there's loads of bands doing it so it's cool it's there's uh, there's plenty out there you know changing the game do you remember what the first album you ever brought was yeah, yeah i do the first tape i ever bought not showing my age was a uh, queen <laughs> news of the world um and then the first cd i ever bought was radiohead the bends uh and then yeah that started off everything just just music explosions. <laughs> what about you? Um, well, when I was really young, I just had loads of like TV show soundtracks. But I think the first one that I ever like pestered anyone to buy me was Bad Blood by Bastille, because that's sort of where my love for music started. Nice. Everything that's just good. spiraled from that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad spiraling start to a spiral. Yeah, cool. <laughs> So how long have you been doing music together with the others? Um, well, me and Phil were friends at school and we must have been like, I'm a little bit younger, so 14 and 15 or 14 and 16. Um, uh, so we kind of played in a band when we were kids and then we went our separate ways. He did soul, funk, rock, acoustic, and I did heavy metal, punk, rock, and acoustic. And then we just kind of met in the middle and now we're just playing whatever we like and with no pressure. And Tom, uh, he was in our old band. So we just kind of called him up and said, want to start a new band? You know, there's no live gigs yet, but just doing a project. So 
it's all super easy and the vibe's really nice and it's just like three brothers in a band really so it's all good and since you've known each other for that long you must have some funny stories that you can share from like gigs or something music related oh man um oh well one that springs to mind is phil uh seems to always before gigs just you know grab some food just before a gig and he got food poisoning before one gig and we couldn't find him and me and tom were ready to go and uh phil turned up sheet white you know crap with his stomach and um he was just couldn't play the gig so we had to cancel the gig and uh you know, the promoters were just like, ah, oh. <laughs> but oh, no. you can't play food poisoning. It's just, it's not going to happen. Um, oh, but plenty of things like that. Um, all sorts of mishaps, you know, falling off stages, uh, getting lost. Oh, everything you, you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> if you were going to take a slow ride to a restaurant after lockdown restrictions are lifted, where would you go first? So basically what food do you miss <laughs> if i was going to take a slow ride what as in one of the members i just meant as in go there i tried to be smart with my <laughs> with my questions <laughs> um i missed the question i got lost on that little detail what was it what was the rest of the question oh um, i said if you were going to a restaurant after lockdown restrictions are lifted where would you go first so basically like what food do you miss <laughs> oh I see I see um I think even just like I know it's really simple but just having like some chips <laughs> you know like just some just some chips maybe even a cheeky falafel <laughs> I do like a falafel anything handheld um but I don't know restaurants I do miss sitting in front of a big curry with lots of different options and just you know yeah I do I, I do miss a good meal um yeah it's starting to it's starting to be a bit, bit much <laughs> after a year isn't it <laughs> i i just thought to ask that because i've been thinking about how much i miss going to nando's so <laughs> uh, yeah well yeah nando's chips are pretty pretty damn good as well they, they are they are good chips <laughs> yeah yeah nando's fair enough <laughs> this is another question where i tried to be clever with like <laughs> but do you have a favorite movie that's forever in your head Nice, I see what you did there. <laughs> Good one. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, the one that just springs to mind is totally random, I don't know why, but um, True Romance. Did you ever see that? I haven't, no. It's got loads of random, like, people in that you'll know, and it's just, like, a really good film, really well written, and it's, like, it might mean Tarantino. I might be totally off with that one. Um, but... Yeah, just those old kind of classic films like that. Um, and then The Goonies. I don't know where that came from as well, but The Goonies was a classic. Any old classics. I don't know. I like them all. Anything good with a good story. Less explosions. Not so big on all the explosions. Mm -hmm. I'm not so much of a film person. I don't know. I just never sit down to watch them. So I will, I will have a look into that. What was the first one you said again? True romance. true romance yeah true yeah romance. yeah it's awesome. I'll have a look i need to watch some more films <laughs> a killer soundtrack as well just get, cool. yeah mm -hmm. that's always good in a film the end <laughs> what film would you like to soundtrack oh nice well actually with these songs um when i first got the demos i was like wow these sound really like like a soundtrack like so almost like a like an advert or a soundtrack so um Oh, I don't know, the Bond theme tune would be pretty cool. That'd be quite a cool gig to get. Um, but yeah, oh, what film? Yeah, maybe a Tarantino soundtrack. I mean, it'd probably all be instrumental, but still, that's cool. It'd yeah. be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good for that. <laughs> so now I've got some who's most likely to questions to get to know yeah. you and Phil and Thomas. So who is most likely to mess up during a gig? Uh, not Tom, because Tom's a robot. I've never met anyone like him. He, he logs all the information in his head, all of his drum parts, and then just nails it every time. It's kind of freaky. Um, actually feels the same. Phil might fall over, so I might win on that note. But 
absolutely 100 percent it'll be me either forgetting lyrics playing the wrong chord um uh, yeah i'm taking that one absolutely <laughs> who is most likely to i guess since you said that phil falls over but who's most likely to fall over when walking guessing it's him or <laughs> uh probably one of us because phil likes to uh, also like you know, prod people, I've noticed, or kick people's legs. It's happened quite a few times when we're walking to gigs, you're like, you know, acting like a, 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 a grown-up man-child. Um, yeah. <laughs> so probably us, because he's tripping us up. But I don't know, I think we can all walk fairly well now. <laughs> I think we nailed that one. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to do a bungee jump, be adventurous? You know, I don't think any of us would thinking about it. It might be wrong, um, but I I thought about that a while ago. Ago, like bungee jump and sky dives. I think I got to a point where I was just like, I, I'm I'm not doing it. It's it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're not the most sort of extreme <laughs> extreme guys. I might be wrong. We'll have to I'll have to ask him. But no, maybe I'd not. Be I'd be too scared to do a bungee jump. I think it yeah. looks cool, but I don't think it's for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe when I was younger and drunker, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to take over the world? Um, hmm, maybe Tom. Maybe Tom's got that kind of look where he could be the guy like stroking the cat, you know, the white cat in the films, just mm -hmm. like kind of, hmm. With his little glasses. Round on their chair and their <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's got that whole studio set up and he's got the glasses and the Scottish accent. And I think between us, he would be the candidate to, yeah, he'd be Dr. Evil in some sense. I mean, <laughs> no offense, Tom. <laughs> Who is most likely to spend all their money on something stupid? Oh, Phil, absolutely. Yeah. Um, any chance Phil can uh, buy another guitar? and then sell that guitar and then buy another guitar and then <laughs> maybe get a bass and sell that one. I think he just likes the, um, to constantly keep moving. I, I don't buy much stuff. In fact, I haven't bought anything for a long time. <laughs> so yeah, Phil's taking that one. Mm -hmm. Well, buying new guitars is fun, so. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good buys. Yeah. <laughs> all good buys. Yeah. So what's next for Slow Ride in 2021? Mm. a bit more tea drinking um yeah we kind of got locked down pretty well at the moment we've got um like a song coming out and then we're already like writing and recording the next one so we're kind of doing this just kind of constantly you know keeping it going our plan is to basically release four tracks this year so we've done two and uh every three months basically just record a song learn the game learn how to do it and do it better next time um, and just try and reach more people. So that's as far as we've got, just release music every three months and just keep writing demos and keep crafting and keep writing and just not get bored and enjoy the process really. So yeah, it's been great so far. Well, I'll look forward to hearing them and you might hopefully might be able to have some gigs as well if things start getting better. <laughs> hopefully so, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's a good place to end the interview thank you very much for talking to me today and thank you to everyone who's watching go listen to Forever In My Head and have a good rest of your evening goodbye cheers <laughs>